two months ago. Yeah. I think to get Gano Gano. <laughs> but I think that that if they get the basics um, more deep and more at a at a higher level, then I think that 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 for the for the future it's. It will be, uh, for the Indonesian football, very good. Uh, your friend is uh, Eric Ten Hag? No. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, kembali lagi dengan konten lebih dekat. Dan hari ini saya sudah kedatangan tamu yang spesial, yaitu coach dari Dewa United. Jan all the recruiting. Terima kasih. How are you today? I'm good. Sama sama. <laughs> Coach, uh, I have an interesting story about you. Oh really? Yeah. Don't tell everything. <laughs> a few months ago, uh, I saw you crossing in front <coughs> of Episode Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. You look relaxed. My question is, uh, where are you going at the time? <laughs> a few months ago? Yeah. I think to get gado gado. <laughs> it's your favorite food. Gado gado? Gado gado is my preferred food in yes. Indonesia. Why? Why? Why gado gado? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it tastes good. It's uh, healthy. The vegetables, the tofu. So uh, it's more or less what we eat in Holland without peanut sauce. Okay. You like a uh, spicy or not? Spicy. Spicy. Tikka pedas. Oh. <laughs> Always. <laughs> That's been it's been almost a year since you've been at uh, Dewa United, yeah? Yeah, almost. Yeah. What do you think uh, Indonesian football is like? Um, yeah, I think last year was especially, of course, affected by the by the disaster in the stadium. Um, so that's not really a go good overview because the spectators were banned yeah. because they were, it's normal because it, it was um, very horrible what happened. Uh, so my 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 impression, of course, is first about the, the club they were united. I think in one year we grew a lot. Last year we had different training grounds and we had to travel now. We are in a, in a beautiful training complex where the players have nice rooms, where we can train, where we have our own pitch, where everything's arranged very good. So we, in, in professional development, I think it's, uh, it's very beautiful for the club, Deva United, that, uh, that we make uh, a lot of steps in one year. Yeah. I hear you, you have some strict regulation at uh, Deva United. Uh, one of them is about food. What is the for player in the United? No, we don't. Have, listen, we 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 have the normal rules around the professional team to to let uh, a team function as a team. That's so why at the end, I think uh, rules makes it possible to give security to a group. So for me, it's important, and it's again. It's, n it's never about how many rules you make, but uh, the rules uh, I make, I want just that they are obeyed, as long as the rules are for the benefit, for the performance of the team. Okay. Uh, you are a Dutch coach. Uh, what do you think Indonesian football can emulate from the uh, Netherlands in order to complete in the highest level from Indonesia? Now, uh, and we had a discussion about the under-23 rule, uh, and I and I and I only happy because the intention of the rule is to develop uh, Indonesian talent. And what I see, I love to work with the Indonesian players. I think they're very disciplined, and they're very eager to to learn. But I think that that if they get the basics um, more deep and more at a at a higher level, then I think that 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 for the, for the future, it's, it will be, uh, for the Indonesian football, very good. So that's also why uh, we're going to emphasize within Deva United by um, educating also the, the, the youth teams in the way, and I will also be involved in that. I have, to, of course, like uh, 11 years experience in Ajax. I have experience in top clubs like Galatasaray Porto, and I, I will be also involved in, in, in creating the program yeah. within Deva. Uh, so, but the answer for the question, I think that you should even more more invest in development of young players, young players. because I think that's uh, in Holland very developed, and here we can uh, um, still have a, um, a way to go. Yeah. Uh, you chose a lot of uh, great player in your career as a coach. Uh, Who is the player with the most special talent, and why? Yeah, but it's not only about talent. Eh? I have, for example, a bond with uh, Wesley Schneider, but it's 
That's also when he was uh, 11 years old, 11, 12, 15. He was under, uh, he was 21 when he played with me with the under... In Ajax, yeah. In Ajax, yeah. when he was 18, then he played with the under 23. So I, in his whole career, with his two brothers, I, we had a connection. I worked first seven years as a youth coach until the assistant first team. And at the end of the, so we always kept in contact. At the end of the career, he was a player with me in Galatasaray. So yeah, if you look to one player who has a special place, then it's him. And who is the special talent in Adewa United? Your opinion? Nah, I think it's not. I think it's not good to to give uh, to speak out who will be a talent in uh, in Deva United. You put a pressure on on young players, but we have <coughs> like this year we have. Uh, for the younger players, we have Caviato now with the team. Uh, Dicky is with our team, so we, we, I wanted to have at least two really young players uh, with with the team at this moment, just also for the development of, of them, but at the end also for Indonesian players. Uh, I think the best uh, moment in your career as a coach is in Galatasaray. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you tell us about that moment? Um, and we have the, the the cup games, so we had the. The whole route with the cup games, and then we we played the final in in uh, Antalya in, in in Turkey against Fenerbahce, and and like the the Indonesian people are very emotional and attached to uh, to football, what I incredibly like. Mm. Uh, it's in Turke Turkey. It's also very very much. So we played there. I think with the stadium 70,000 people. It was the last game of the year when we won the cup and the year we began was the Super Cup, it was against Besiktas, in, in Turkey you have three big club, clubs, yeah. it's Fenerbahce, Besiktas and Galatasaray and we won also the Super Cup, so that's as beautiful as a coach of course to at least to win some prizes. Yeah. Uh, you start your coaching career in Ajax, you start your coaching career in Ajax, yeah. and until now the Ajax Academy is uh, famous of producing uh, many uh, great players in the history. Uh, what is the secret or uh, key, uh, key success at uh, Ajax uh, Academy? I, I think only one thing is a belief. Mm. And in sport, belief has a lot of to do with uh, winning and losing, but that's not for me belief. Belief you have to have in your philosophy, in the way of working, in the way you believe that you can educate players and then the people who are involved should think in the same in the same way so um, if i the, the only secret i of the main secret i think in ajax is the the performance in the past of the first team the the, the style of playing and the philosophy so the idea how they want to play football and then the people in the organization, they, they believe. They, they think the same, they do the same, they act the same. And that's the, the main secret, I think. Uh, Indonesia and the Netherlands are uh, historically uh, close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, I see a lot of words, eh? Anticipasi. <laughs> what, what did you know about Indonesia before coming here? No, like of course we have the, the history. Uh, I, I don't think it's always a beautiful history from the Dutch side. So, uh, but um, uh, you you have a lot of Indonesian people living in Holland. So the, you know that that that's something from uh, from the past. I, I know it it's there again. From I think from the Netherlands side, it was uh, not always a beautiful uh, history. But I think the uh, if you ask now, then the Dutch people feel very connected to the Indonesian people. Okay. Is there any uh, is there any uh, Dutch food? Uh, that you miss so much before uh, because it's not here. Dutch food, not uh, not Indonesian. Oh, that's a very funny question. Um, uh, so uh, we have some snacks, mm. like a snack bars in in Holland, and I don't eat it a lot. But for example, if you had a game or whatever, you go in the evening. You have um, French fries, and then have a pe we have peanut sauce and mayonnaise, and then you know you can. <laughs> Um, you can eat after after in the evening or whatever, <laughs> but but not a lot of time because it's not that healthy. <laughs> uh, my last question: uh, Your friend is uh, Eric Ten Hag. No. Uh, you read in Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> no, he is a manager of Manchester United. Yeah. Do you have any uh, prediction about Eric Ten Hag season? <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, well, 
but there's also an example, um, because he, he became manager of Manchester United. They didn't perform, I think, in the beginning very well. And slowly he turned it around. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was a big moment eh, to, to change him. So uh, he's brave. He has an idea of football. And if you give like managers the time to build a club, eh, to, to spread out the, the, the philosophy of a coach, and not if, if you lose two or three times you change, yeah, then I think that you will be as a club much more successful. Unless, of course, there is there's reason. And I must also say that I think last last year we lost five games in a row, especially when we lost our striker and our central defender. Uh, but the club, the club, uh, uh, they were united, and I I'm very thankful for that. They saw what happened with the group. They saw that we didn't uh, need to change at that moment because uh, there was no relegation, and they they kept believing in in me in the way I worked in the way. We try to make the, the players better, but I'm, I'm happy with the group, I'm happy, very happy with the club, I'm very happy that the club uh, believed in the way I worked and I hope uh, we can be successful uh, this year. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What Ya, terima kasih untuk uh, wawancara bersama uh, head coach dari Dewa United, Jan Olderi Kring. Semoga Dewa United bisa berprestasi lebih baik di BRI Liga 1 musim ini. Sampai jumpa di episode berikutnya dari Lebih Dekat. Terima kasih. <laughs> <laughs> okay.